Motherfucker, man. He won't shut up, will he? Benzino just came at Eminem, ladies and gentlemen. Stacy's here with me. Stacy says she heard it. And she's like, you just gotta go, you gotta go do it now. You have to go do it now. So I'm here and I'm doing it now. Benzino, vulturous Eminem's diss track. What you said it was? You said it was the, like the best diss track you heard in your whole entire life? <laughs> <laughs> no. Do not put that out in the internet. <laughs> oh, man. So I'm going to get right into this one. I'm, I'm a little bit nervous, low key. I'm a little bit nervous because, you know, I don't want to sound like an Eminem uh, D writer like he called Joe Buddy. Because that's what Benzino called Joe Buddy. He's, like he's an Eminem dick writer. I don't want to sound like an Eminem dick writer. But the facts are the facts. So if there's in in if there's non-factual comments that he makes on this, I'm gonna point them out. It's not me hating, it's me knowing the fact and me correcting it. So that's the difference between hating on something. But if it's fire, it's fire. This is a battle right now. This is a battle right now. It's been going on for For years! Eminem thought he did it with kill sh with with uh, uh with um nail in the coffin. He thought he that said it was over. And then as the internet started growing, so did Benzino's head. That's why he doesn't have a neck. <laughs> but he he started getting the uh platforms right. to say his thoughts about certain things. And there's only one subject that's always been brought up in every interview with Benzino. And that's the Eminem. Because it has to be brought up as part of history, as part of hip-hop. So they have to ask him those questions. And he comes out of pocket sometimes. Didn't that nigga just say that he wanted to go chill and like, hey, Eminem, relax, brother. Like, well, we, I want to sit with him, man. I want to talk with him. And I want all this. And then you're going to drop a diss track? Oh, you played us for the boo-boo, the fool. I ain't no fool, nigga. But we're going to hear this. Fuck it. I'm going to get off of this. Federico. Cut the beat. Benzino. Vultures. Eminem. This. I didn't think this is ever going to fucking happen. I swear to God I did it. It is on you. Let's fucking go. Yo, Eminem should be called Skittle sweet ass motherfucker. Candy ass. I think it's the Eminem. You should have been called Skittles. You sweet motherfucker. Okay. Eminem is a homosexual. Yo, Eminem should be called Skittles, sweet ass motherfucker. Candy ass Eminem, bitch ass feminine. Maddie like melanin. On value turned up again. All oh, shit. Hit. Hey, he hold on. I like the little wordplay he got there. He's mad because he doesn't have melanin. Fem but that Eminem, the uh, M candy ass Eminem, that's been used so much. That, that's Eminem uses it in his bars. That's how much it's been used. That Eminem ran out of shit to write, so he's using you guys' shit and just writing it in there. Fuck it. Feminine? That was uh, Everlast that did that. So, you need to come with original shit if you're going to come at Eminem. Because these, well, this is the thing. People, so many people come out at, come at Eminem and say the same exact things that. Just because you're saying it, it's not going to make it hit harder. It's been said so many times already, saturated, and it's corny. And there's there's shit out there to prove that some of the shit that you guys say are fuck. It, there's no facts behind it. That's just you saying something and coming with it with an agenda. But then that's neither here. Bitch ass feminine, Maddie like melanin, on value turned up again. Oh shit, here we go, Benzino versus Jim Crow. Noah Custy, when I see one, how many times you overdose? Once. He overdosed once, and now he's 15 years sober. So that's irrelevant for you to even bring that up. Um, you, is that facts or not? But I'm liking the. I'm. I. You know what I am liking? Benzino's using um his syllabatic acrobatics on this. He's just every every other bar is like 
and boom, it's flowing good with uh with with the the beats like outdated, but it's flowing good the way he's saying the actual words and shit like that, and what the content that he's saying. It, if you didn't know Eminem, you'd be like, oh, this nigga killed him. Holy shit. That nigga called them feminine. Because you never, you don't know nothing about Eminem. So you, of course you're going to think that's hard. But there's nothing to back that up. And... That's all about that. Here we go, Benzino versus Jim Crow. No a custody when I see one. How many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap, I hate black in the show. Invade our Ooh, that's fire. Cracker on Hold on, that was hard. I like that. See one, how many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap, I hate black in the show. Cracker that rap Hold on, this is the way he said it. See when I crazy. see one, how many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap, I hate black in the A cracker on crack, who rap. Noah Custy when I see one, how many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap, I hate black in the show. Invade our co- Cracker who rap? Well, it just doesn't make any sense. It doesn't, but it doesn't make any sense. Cracker who, Cracker who raps? How many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap, I hate black in his show. If but hate blacks in his shows? Like that, that was, that was a thing now? That Eminem is not letting black people go into his concerts? He's performing with black people on stage. You see what I'm talking about? I don't want to be a hater, babe. I'm not trying to be a hater on what he's saying, but when I know the fact, it doesn't make sense. When it doesn't make sense, it doesn't hit for me. But I could understand if somebody that doesn't know the facts of the whole history between, between him and Eminem, I could see they're like, oh shit, he's coming at him. So when you, in battle rap, if you don't know the other rapper that you're going up against, if, it's not, if he's not a well-known person, you could come up with something that's called a, a storyline for that person. So you're going to make something about him up in a rap battle. And you're going to try to push that agenda that that's what he is. And make it believable to the audience because they know you more than they know him. So it automatically that bar's going to, no matter what you say, is going to hit because they're like, oh, he's exposing him. When all reality is, is bullshit. It's, it, he's just making shit up. Fake storylines and shit like that. It also goes off of the, he, what, he, what I heard in that song is he's taking everything everybody else said. And he's putting it yeah, yeah, and he's he's reusing a lot of material. Now, what's getting me is I didn't know Benzino had good flow and cadence when, when it comes to like a hard like a like a boom bat beat. His his flowing cadence is fucking amazing in this. I I like it because it, it reminds me of like back New York old school rap. Okay, that's the only reason why I like it. It's it's dated. It's not he's not using anything crazy, but it's. I like to hear old school rap like that. I, I like when I hear it, it brings me back to that time and it brings back like Biggie and it brings back Nas and it brings back stuff like that because it's the same cadence flows that they use, but he does he's doing it really fucking good though. When I see I like one, how many times you overdose? Cracker on crack, who rap, I hate black in the show. Invade our culture, then insult this time you get exposed, little ho. You what? Invade our culture, then insult us? I don't fucking ever have insulted them. He insulted you. He insulted you. You're not rap. You're not. So, it, like, that's dumb. Like, uh, who is he insulting? Where is their proof that these niggas coming up with stories again? That's why they call these niggas Dr. Seuss ass niggas. Because all they know how to do is come up with nursery rhymes. Fake stories to tell a kid to go to sleep. <laughs> Stop coming up with that. Stop pushing an agenda that doesn't exist. You need to relax, bro. And then there's going to be haters in the comment. I know. Whoa, with Eminem, you don't know nothing about Eminem, so don't talk about him. And I'm not trying to sound like a stand. I'm not. I know I'm wearing the Eminem, <laughs> you know, thing. And I know Eminem is back there watching over me like Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> And, and all that. I know. Oh, he's just a stand. Look at another stand. No, this stand has facts. You niggas are going off a nigga that doesn't know nothing. So shut the fuck up. That's what I'm saying. 
That's all. But hate black in the show. Invade our culture, then insult us. Time you get exposed. Little ho. This Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Britt. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with. Who? Okay. Motherfucker is going to war with people that are fucking just dancing and singing. That's what Eminem was known for, picking on the pop stars. Oh. Britney Spears, Christina Aguilera, Backstreet, NSYNC, picking on them. But this is because they're, they're niggas. So they don't understand white culture. So white culture is, you. I'm talking to you though because me and you are together in the same room. It makes me less crazy talking to you than talking to a camera. So, in white culture, mm -hmm. and you and I have a representative. <laughs> in white culture, people poke fun, right? People start poking fun of each other, like, "Hey, there goes Dave, the asshole," and then it's just little jokey joke shit. Nobody in sync, Backstreet Boys, in Christina Aguilera, Britney Spears, none of them ever felt salty with anything that Eminem said. Christina, Christina was just hating because she was trying to get with him. He was with Kim at the time, and she was, you know, she was like, "Oh my God, is he a so cute with the blue eyes and shit like that?" But yeah, no, that she was just hating because she was, cock, she was trying to cock block. That's what she was trying to do. But in sync, Justin Timberlake says Eminem best rapper a lot. You know how many times he said a Dustin Timberlake bar? And an NSYNC bar? You know how many times he said that? Best rapper alive. It's, it's mutual. It's respect. It's just whatever. They know what he does. They know what he does. So, therefore, they're not going to feel a fucking way. Y'all yeah, niggas are more butthurt than anything else. Now, now you want to talk about battling. Cannabis was, was back in those days, cannabis was was considered the best lyricist out there. And I'm not wrong. You can fast fact check. You can check that. He went after cannabis and destroyed him. Jermaine Dupree destroyed him. Ja Rule destroyed him. The game, he didn't even have to say nothing and he won. Limp Biscuit destroyed him. Fred Durst, yeah. Fred Durst, he got him out of there. Everlast, they were rappers. These are all rappers. What are we talking about? He got him out of there, and these were rappers that had a bigger fan base than Eminem at the time. Insane. These niggas were known more than Eminem was. So what does a nigga that they used to battle rap does? What does he do? He's going to use his battle rap ability, because Eminem came from battle rap, and he's going to start going at every white rapper that's out there that thinks it's better than him. The Everlast beef had nothing to do with Eminem. They had a problem with Eminem because they thought that Eminem was too big for them because they tried to go backstage and shake his hand at one point. And Eminem was too busy. He had to get on stage. And he and he he said that he wasn't ignoring him. He kept on walking. Came back, and then they came back and felt a certain way. Said something about Eminem. Eminem came with a diss track, destroyed him. Insane. Got him the fuck out of here. And he did that with every rapper that tries to talk about him. You forget Kamikaze? Kamikaze, he was going to everybody. Everybody that was talking shit for him after five, six years of talking shit, he came at him. You know why Eminem is not going up against these lyrical miracle niggas? These niggas that are like, because the lyrical miracle ones, the ones that are actually good, the ones that are better than half of the people that are coming at Eminem, those actually know that Eminem is better than them. So they don't even think going at him because that's just dumb. Why would I want to do that? But I know he's a better rapper than me. If you feel froggy, leap. Eminem was talking to everybody when he said that on Kamikaze. If you feel froggy, leap. Any one of you. It doesn't matter who it was. Just because the ones that are really talented are smart enough not to go at Eminem. Doesn't mean Eminem is just, is just eating what you guys are feeding him. That's all. Feed him somebody with substance and then let's talk. Because if you think that game did anything with that 10 minute bullshit, then there's something fucking wrong with you. He stole this whole man's flow, cadence, and everything while calling him trash. That doesn't make any sense. But then you're saying I'm doing your shit better than you know you did it. Because you mimicked his voice to the T. You were the black Slim Shady. You became Eminem if Eminem was a nigga. Stop. Nothing that he was saying in that diss, nothing that anyone says in any Eminem diss makes 
any sense, and they all sound the fucking same. Come with something fucking different. You know what's crazy about it? Insane Clown Posse was different. Insane Clown Posse was <laughs> trash. <laughs> How dare you? But it was different. It was different. It was different. <laughs> but it was still trash. And whatever, it was different. <laughs> you made me lose my shirt. I'm oh, bringing them motherfuckers up. I didn't bring them up for a reason. I hate those niggas. <laughs> Insane goddamn clown posse. I'm gonna have a fucking clown mannequin here. I'm gonna punch it every time I get pissed. The show invade our cultures, then insult us. Time you get exposed. Little ho, this Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Brit. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with 50. Keep it a buck. You ain't tough. Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did puff. If they read your lyrics and. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with 50. And keep it a buck. You ain't tough. Your baby. Did he say he doesn't fuck with 50? I wouldn't do that if I was you. I would not do that. Do not bring 50 cents into any of this. Please tell me that he did not say that. Like, I. Relevant, he will. But he, that's the last thing that he wants. Yeah, Eminem will, will hide back in his back cave. And not say nothing, and because he doesn't want to give a more exposure than what he's he's getting now. So Eminem will hide absolutely because he's playing the game in the, in the sense of I'm not gonna hurt you verbally. I'm gonna hurt you in your pockets because you're not gonna make no money off of me. I come out with a diss track on you. I just put 30 billion people that follow me on Spotify. I just put them onto your music. I just put them onto you. So I'm giving you. People that are going to listen to rap and, and enjoy it and listen to everything like I do. And I'm going to give you, if I give you one person to subscribe to you, I did too much already. That's how he hurts you. No, 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 no. You do not want to bring 50 into this because 50 will jump out the fucking window. Oh, my Jesus. Castro Chevrolet. I don't want to buy a car. Please tell me he did not say You get exposed, little ho. This Mariah, Christina, Michael, and Brit. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with 50. And keep it a buck. You ain't tough. Your baby. Don't fuck with. It sounds like 50. I hope it's not. I'm going to let it go now because I don't know exactly what he's saying. But I hope to God not. Because 50 Cent would jump out the fucking window for Eminem. Is he crazy? War with people dancing and singing. Don't fuck with 50. Keep it a buck, you ain't tough. Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did puff. If they read your, your baby mom can get a bag like Pat, like Cassie did puff. I, Defamation. Th that's new to me. I don't, I don't know what the hell he's talking about. But he said he's not tough. That nigga Eminem went by himself against Suge Knight outside of the uh, music video he was doing with 50. They were in there working. Suge Knight came to, was going in there because he was had, trying to get at 50 or get at somebody from, uh, from, from that group. And everybody stood inside. Everybody knew Suge, Suge was there. Everybody stood inside. Eminem was the only nigga that came outside. I was like, is there a problem? So when you don't know things about somebody, these are called false accusations. Defamation of character, really. That's what that's called. Cause now you're just making shit up. This nigga told Eminem, fuck rapping. I want to box this nigga. Does he know that, you know how I use this for my sobriety to help me with my sobriety and stuff mm -hmm. like that? Eminem, for the past 14 years, has been professionally boxing. Because that's how he deals his music and he boxes. I didn't know that. So... Yeah, you a street fighter, but nigga, you're almost 60. Wow. You're 58 years old. Eminem is 51. Right. You think that Eminem is, Eminem is skinnier than you? Eminem is probably quicker than you. Just because He's not going to show you a video of what he does. He That's his private life. That's what he does for his sobriety to help him, to, to help Marshall. Not Eminem, not Slim Shady, yeah. to help Marshall. I don't think this nigga wants that smoke. Yeah, niggas think Eminem is sweet. 
This nigga went to jail and has a felony on his record of taking a pistol and gut button a nigga and got him stitches in the head. And there's nothing that you can say about Kim that Amanda has not said already. So you can, you can call her a whore. Amanda called her a whore and killed her. So no matter what you say about Kim, it's not going to hit him. Leave Haley alone. That's all. The Michael and Brit. What kind of fuck go to war with people dancing and singing? Don't fuck with 50 and keep it a buck. You ain't tough. Your baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did puff. If they read your lyrics in the court like they did Young Thug. From the drugs chopping her up. Corpse in the trunk. You a punk. Yeah, but you know what's the difference between Young Thug and Eminem? If you take Eminem's lyrics into court like they did Young Thug, and they look at it and be like, well, he said here that he's a fucking serial killer. There's bodies in his backyard. He put his wife in the trunk. He raped his own mom. And he put a belt around his neck and masturbated in a prison cell. Now, does that feel, that, does that sound like he actually did all that shit? But if you say, we, found, we saw this person, I, I, I shoot a nigga in the back of 14th Street and Marcy in the back of the Dunkin' Donuts and there was actually a homicide there. Then that's something they're going to be like, oh, well, uh, like, it's a little bit too much coincidental. You're trying to play this white and black thing. That's what you're trying to do. Different circumstances, different situations, different fucking problems. So, and if you think that Eminem's liver has not been in a courtroom, <laughs> nigga, please. How do you think his mother got $10 million off of him? Do your research before you start talking. That's all I'm saying about this. That's all I'm saying. I'm not trying to hate. Just do your research. That's all. You can, you're saying things that's for real people that understand the truth. It sounds stupid. You could be flowing and cadencing all you want. And you're doing a great job at it. It sounds good. If I didn't know who Eminem was, yes, this is a perfect fucking comeback. This this song is actually, I'm looking at, I'm, I'm seeing it in both sides. And as a, I'm putting myself away from knowing anything about Eminem and just listening to the actual words that he's putting together, yes, it's a decent diss track. Absolutely. You're not coming with anything of, of any fruits out of this that is going to make me think of Eminem any different. You, you need to tell me something. I'm like, oh, word. I ain't know that shit. I'm going to do my research. And if it's true, I'm going to like, God damn it. That bar hit. That bar hit because it's true. You understand how that works? But you're going to have a bunch of Benzino nut chases over here. Come on over here and say, no, you just say that. But look at what, look, look what hoodie he has on. That's why he's saying it. No, I'm seeing it in both ways. It's not a bad diss track so far. It's not. But there's no facts behind it, so it doesn't hit for me. It's going to hit you different. So that's it. It's just going to hit you different because you're listening to inversion ears. My ears have been fucked for 25 years, bro. When it comes to this, these two niggas situation, I am an expert at it because I was there when it started. I was there in its conception. Y'all niggas are just finding about this shit. So don't come at me and tell me what I already know. Niggas. Fought like they dig young dog from the drugs, chopping her up, corpse in the trunk. You a punk. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot who? You who? Square ain't even go circle the block for proof. And the truth. Oh! Oh, that hit! Why that nigga told? Oh, nigga! Oh, nigga, 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 nigga. Why did you. Why did you. Why did you say that? Oh, my God! Oh, that was hard. That was hard. The way he did it, that shit was crazy. But uh oh, I'm gonna tell you verbatim what the fuck he said. I need baby mom can get a bag like how Cassie did puff. If they read your lyrics in the court like they did Young Thug, from the drugs chopping her up, corpse in the trunk, you a punk. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot who? You who? Square ain't even go circle the block for proof. And the no. truth, my daughter. 
He didn't, he didn't even square the block around for proof. Oh, because proof was murdered. Oh, my God. But that was corny. But it was hard. It was hard, but it was corny. Do you know how famous Eminem was when that happened? What the, the fuck does he look like going around looking for a nigga to kill his best friend? He's putting his career at jeopardy. He's putting his money at jeopardy. He's putting his kids at jeopardy. He's putting all that at jeopardy. If he gets locked up, Haley at that time was still underage. She would have gone to Kim. And we all saw how Kim ended up. Yeah. He's not stupid. Right. And and when? Oh, when? I want to find the, the lyric that Eminem like, realistically said that he was a thug. Eminem's never said he was a thug. Eminem said he's. Eminem never said that he sold drugs. Eminem never said he was in a gang. Eminem never said that he was in the streets. Eminem said, "I am a white boy from Detroit in the trailer parks that has a fucked up family and broke, yeah. but I love rap. Rap is the only thing that I love growing up. Rap is the only thing that I had." And it took me out from a bad situation to a good situation for my daughters. That's all Eminem has said for 25 fucking years. Stop just because he was in G-Unit and doing the whole hats with the jersey because everybody lost their mind about that. Look what Eminem looked like. Better trying to dress like he's black. Eminem dressed like he wanted to dress, bro. Before that was sweatpants and white beaters. They just dress how he wanted to fucking dress. But also in Detroit, that's how they dress. That's how they, that, in Detroit, that's how they dress everywhere. I mean, I'm pretty sure Eminem was not the only white boy wearing his hat backwards with a do rag. No, not at all. Come on, though, like that. That's that's normal. I don't even see that as anything. But I, I, it's just it's not. It hit. It hit me when I heard it. It hit me. I think it's gonna bring up proof. And the Lions lost. This nigga is suicidal. Whatever little career he has left, Eminem is about to fucking destroy it. If he answers. I don't think M is going to. But I think M probably will. I think M is probably pondering about doing something. But that's what I was saying. Because in the, in the reaction that Eminem did... In the reaction that Eminem did, or the, the reaction that I did of Eminem when he uh, did the uh, Doomsday Part 2, I said it in that reaction. Oh, Eminem is just baiting a nigga. Eminem is just doing this. Yeah. He's throwing the fish out there, and he's just going to... That's why the song was only a minute and 50 seconds. Right, right. Because he was just trying to put the fucking thing out there. And then Eminem's like, okay, you want to use my name to promote something? Mm -hmm. To make you money? So now I'm going to use your name to go promote my album that's about to come. Mm -hmm. I'm still looking up. I'm not still you're looking right, through this. Right, right. Whatever. Whatever. <laughs> you're, you're throwing me off, babe. From the drugs, chopping her up. Caught to the trunk. You a punk. Plan my funeral, please. You shoot. Who? You who? Square ain't even go circle the block for proof. And the truth, my daughter had a life that I never had. I'm probably more Boston George than America's dad. But I provided. Food, clothes, gifts kept y'all excited. Now you let them. Why are you, are you trying to paint himself out here? You heard what he said? He's trying to paint himself out here like a good father. Your own daughter said you be trash. So what happened? Like, she's lying? And I agree because there's many interviews of her. I was just saying we we talk me we talk facts over here. My bad. We talk facts. If it if it ain't fact, it's just a fucking story tell, a, a, a fairy tale. And I got Netflix for that. I don't need that. Watched in America's dad, but I provided food, clothes, gifts, kept y'all excited. Now you let the industry really lynch, keep us divided. But back when I got indicted, in and out of court fighting, you was in a pretty home with something foreign to ride in. Of course, I'll tell you, hate your father. He could never find his trailer park swine bitch. Shit. You what? I'm so disappointed. I thought he was gonna come with like the other shit, man. He's bringing up now about Eminem's father, and he's like comparing his daughter's life. Like I was there for you, 
and you saying shit about me, and you know, kind of bringing Eminem and his daughter, that whole father, mm-hmm. uh, child dynamic. He's trying to bring that and try to match it with him and her, and then Eminem and his father's relationship. But the problem about that is, is that Eminem legitimately hasn't doesn't know who the fuck his father. He know who his father is, but that man has never been in his life since he was a baby. It's not like Eminem was 16 years old and then his dad left. That man has never been there at all. So he's he's said many things about his father, and I don't know how his dad and, and your dad, I don't know how Eminem's dad and Eminem's relationship have to do with Coilerae and Benzino's relationship. I don't know how you could try to mix that together because it, it's two completely different things. You, yeah, you were in her life according to what you're saying and all that. And I mean, I'm pretty sure that you weren't that bad of a dad for the simple fact that Coyle Ray has said in interviews, I wouldn't do a song with Eminem unless I get the blessings of my father. So, I mean, if you were that much of a piece of shit, she wouldn't give a fuck about what you had to say. But she's also said that in interviews. So, that your whole little, that, that whole, uh, mess that you guys have as a relationship, y'all need to keep that shit away. That has nothing to do with Eminem. That's between you two. Don't, don't try to make something out of nothing. That's all I'm trying to say, bro. When you call Diamond Nose, bing! It sounds like the commercial. To tell you hate your father, he could never find his Trailer Park Swine Bitch. Shit, you're miserable when you're alone. Trailer Park Swine Bitch. This nigga hasn't seen a Trailer Park in 25 years. Why are you bringing a... You're rapping... You, oh, I get it, babe. Guys, I get it. He's talking... He's, this is his response to nail in the coffin. What? This is the response to nail in the coffin. It has to be. It has to be. He has to verify it. He has to be. It has to be. Because everything that he's mentioning right now... It's shit that Eminem was was relevant when Eminem and him were going be, back in the day. So is this something that he made new, or has he been sitting on it? No, 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 no. This is something out. he made new. Uh huh. But he responding to all the way back to fucking. He up. tried to. He's trying to update it. Oh, he's geez. using updated bars here and there and sprinkling. Oh, so he took an old fucking thing, came back and wrote. Oh my. God. On top of it to make it relevant. Relevant. Oh. Relevant today oh because God. it has to be because if not then it doesn't make any sense. No. Why are you talking about old Eminem for? Yeah. He yeah. hasn't been this nigga in 25 years. Eminem is talking about current events in his shit. Yeah. He said you in the Red Roof Inn getting kicked out in one bedroom with two men. That is recent events, my friend. Why are you bringing up old shit for? His father's relationships. And all the other, that's old. So if he's responding to there, because he did mention 50, and so did Eminem, and, and Nail in the Coffin, if you remember, he said, you want to be all up in the streets like 50. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then that's when ben, now Benzino said, and, I'm, and I don't fuck with 50. Right. So if that's a response to that bar. It has to be. If I'm bugging, you fucking tell me, bro. No, no, I think... Because it's just... It. That's what's making sense to me right you're now. You're on it. You're on it. Why would he bring up 50? Did he... Eminem didn't say nothing about 50. And 50 says has said nothing about Benzino. Right, right. The only thing that he said about Benzino was like... That's fucking retarded. Unless, unless that was just a sidebar to answering back to 50. Because 50 did say something like... But that was months ago. You can't waste a year... To respond to something a nigga told you last year. Because that's corny. I don't know what he's trying to do here. Well, I'm confused. 20 years? <laughs> I'm confused. But he could never find his trailer park swine bitch. Shit. You're miserable when you're alone. And we think that they cloned you. You look weird. Don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl. You look weird. I do not care how much just for men they put on you. <laughs> that nigga Eminem dies his beard? Now they're gonna put that on him? There they go, Eminem got dyed in beard. I knew that was too black for him to be almost 60. I <laughs> knew that was too black for him to be almost. I'm 39 and look how this nigga's. 
Eminem wears just for men. There you go. There's something new. That's new. <laughs> that's, that's new. There you go. That's new. <laughs> or is it because he dyed his hair black back because he had it blonde? But because just for men is for is for dyeing your hair. It's, it's probably the beard. Or the beard too. You can do just for men for beard. Yeah. That was funny. Uh, that was hilarious. Everyone up this now. <laughs> I'm here. Trailer park swan bitch. Shit. You're miserable when you're lonely, and we think that they cloned you. Look, when you're miserable when you're lonely. That was just in the football game with his family, clapping and fucking people off and <laughs> doing all types of shit. All right, that is from back in the day. Eminem was uh, uh, with the way I am with the Marshall LP was more of a I'm gonna show you my depression. I'm gonna show you my pain. Album, so that's a bar that could be answering back in that time frame. I'm just trying to point it out to them. That's what I'm trying to do. I don't want to make them think that I think that I'm that much of a stand. The shit that is fire is fire, but it has no backing to it. That's all. Swan bitch, shit, you're miserable when you're alone, and we think that they cloned you. Look where, don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl. <laughs> you know what I just noticed? This is the second nigga that's called Eminem weird. MGK said he had a weird beard. This nigga said, nigga, you're weird. You're using just for men. So I'm in the mix coming at your old ass, nigga. Are you really 51? Are you really? Eminem is, I know Eminem had a Benjamin Button disease. That nigga is 120. Uh, and they, they found out, nigga, you old bitch. Blown, look where, don't care how much just for men they put on. Back. Never seen with a girl, never seen with a bitch. Forgot a song, what if I was gay with join the Lucas? I'm done. I'm sorry, mama. Oh. Eminem is saying, because he did a song, What If I Was Gay? With you and the Lucas. That's a relevant bar. Because they did come out with that song. And you know, there's a famous rapper back in the day. He was called uh, Tupac and Shakur. And he was known for a lot of things, right? But the main thing that he was known for was storytelling. That's where people put him at. He's he's one of the top storytellers in rap. You know how Jonah Lucas took that from pop, right? And he just expanded it. Where the video, like he's so graphic with the videos that he does. And with the music that he does. The American, the American song, uh, what was that one? That was like the race thing. I, for, I forgot the name of it, but I he did that remember. one. Uh, there was a couple other ones he did. Like, Jordan Lucas is known for controversial conversations and controversial talk. Well, the old one is. I, I don't know what the fuck the new one doing. But, what if I was gay? It was a story they were telling. A story of a gay guy that is hiding his homosexuality from everybody because he has so many homophobic people around him. Eminem is playing the part of the best friend. And he's the harshest one of them all. And he's been ridiculed and he's been all that because he came out. He kills himself. In all reality, Eminem playing the best friend secretly was gay himself. It was a story that was being told. You see when you don't have fucking facts and you start saying, saying stupid shit? You were found in the Red Roof Inn with in one bedroom with two men. And there's videos about that recently.
God damn, dog. But it was hard, though. I ain't gonna lie to you. I'm just giving you the facts. That's all. And I, I, I was not, I was not gonna just give it all that bullshit and then not give it what it deserves. That shit was hard. In a battle, you use that in a battle, you're gonna win it. Immediately, you're gonna win it. Because of the people, like I said, let's play again that game. That person, the, the audience doesn't know you very well because you don't put your information out like that. If I come out to you in a battle and they know me more and I say you're this, I don't need to have the facts. So the people that follow Benzino, they don't know nothing about Eminem. They despise that motherfucker. So they're not going to do no research on it. But what? So if he says that, they didn't know that Eminem had a song called, came with Jordan Lucas called If I Was Gay. They didn't know that. Now they're going to look for it. They're going to hear it. And they, oh my God, he's gay. Not knowing that it's a story that they're telling. But in a battle, absolutely that was fire. Absolutely that was fire. It's just, it's hard, babe. Guys, guys, babe, babe, guys, guys, babe. <laughs> it's hard to have all this information in my head. And tell you that Benzino won. But if we want to keep it lyrically, if you want to keep all the information in the background and just go with bar for bar, he's still lost. There's nothing that he's saying there that is surprising me about Eminem. Even if I don't know the nigga, I know that he's getting hate. I know that the nigga's saying stupid shit about him. How can I not know this? And he's all over the place every time somebody mentions Eminem. He's all over the place. Fucking going viral everywhere without him even doing anything. I just, I just wish there's a lot, of, a lot more people listen to music the way I do. Lyrically and everything, if he was going up against a, a, a up-and-coming rapper... That's really not that lyrical. That is just starting to, you know, fight himself. He probably would. You can't come at Eminem with shit like that. Because if it was lyrical, at least Eminem would be like, you know what? I'm gonna give him the light because at least he took the time and he lyrically came at me. Even though I've heard this all already, even though everybody has been saying the same shit about me for 25 years, but this motherfucker came at me lyrical. He knew how to put it together in a way that I've never heard. Listen to how Eminem listens to music, bro. He's a fucking, he's a scientist with this shit. It's not about what you're telling him. It's how you put it together. I watch Battle Rap, right? You know how many times I heard a nigga's gonna get shot? Millions. Millions, they all say it. It's how you put it together. And how you say it is what wins you the battle. This is a battle. We're not talking about regular music, motherfuckers. This is a battle right now. Eminem said something? Well, let's let's keep it 100. Benzino has been saying shit for five months. Stopped for a week because he had constipation or something. He was trying to find a tie for his no-neck ass. And then Eminem said, you know what? I'm bored. I'm feeling good. Detroit Lions are going to the playoffs. I'm gonna I got tickets to go to the game. Bow! I'm gonna say something stupid. I'm just gonna do this to him. Bop! And just tap his jaw a little bit. Cause if niggas think that that's what Eminem could do, then that's crazy to me. I said it in the reaction. It was that's he was playing with him. He wasn't being for real. He was playing with him. But that's look how effortless he made it look. You don't want this nigga going three minutes on him. You don't. Three minutes, Eminem talking about Benzino, you saw what happened. You don't want the updated version of that. Because now he's very lyrical now. Before, he was in face value shit. That's what Nail in the Coffin was. Face value shit he was saying. Lyrically. You do not want Eminem with this skill now coming at him like he did in Nail in the Coffin. Because this nigga's never going to be seen in the light of day again. In hip-hop. You still see that nigga in TMZ getting kicked out of fucking hotels. Don't care how much just for men they put on you. Never seen with a girl, never seen with a bitch, but got a song with a... I do gotta say that's sus, though. I gotta agree with Benzino on that. I do have to agree with Benzino on that. Yeah, I said it, nigga. I said it. 
You really don't see Eminem with women. Never. I think him, I, to be honest with you, I think him and uh, Mr. Porter have a thing going on. Oh, don't put that out there. They don't listen to me. They don't put that out there. Because <laughs> that's, I'm saying because that's the only person that you see him with. I mean, anytime it's for a reason. Maybe. Anytime, and that's his, that's his proof. That's Proof's brother. So, he took over Proof's spot when Proof, man, man, Proof died. So, that's his, like, backup, man. So, when he's performing, when he's doing anything, he's always going to have his team with him. And it's been the same team for 25 years. There's no new nigga in his team. There's no, uh, an extra nigga tagging out that we've never seen before. It's always, who is he who went playing football with? Who he was watching the game with? Bizarre, Mr. Porter, Haley, and Haley's boyfriend. It's the same people around him since the Slim Shady LP. It doesn't change it up. So, of course, you want to get... But, I've never seen him with a girl. I've never seen him with a girl. I, there's not one picture that has surfed with Eminem with a female next to him. I haven't even seen a picture of Eminem and Kim together like that. I've seen two. The one where they were married with, with Haley when they got married. And then... No, that's the only one. Were they even together? Is Haley his kid? It's a lot of questions we got. Um, I think he needs to do an album to give us the answer. I think that's what needs to happen. We need to know this. Why is Eminem not with a woman right now? He's, he's almost dying. He's 51. He's almost out of here. I don't know what's going on, baby. He makes a good point. Go Google. Eminem with female. And I guarantee you, all you're going to see is music videos. Him and Rihanna. Him and Skylar Gray. Him and Nicki Minaj. No, they're never together. Well, no, he wanted to hump Nicki. Um, uh, Mariah Carey? Yeah, but there was no proof. She's never... She, Eminem is just playing a... a, a a skit on her. We don't know if that's an absolute fact that that he had the voicemails in the in the warning though. He did have voicemails of her voice. So I don't know what's going on. That's true. Mariah Carey's never gonna break. She still need that need cannon money. You crazy? Her albums they selling? The man they put on you. Never seen with a girl. Never seen with a bit. Forgot a song. What if I was gay? Would join the Lucas? I'm done. I like the way he ended that. I'm done. Fuck out of here. We just did 48 minute reaction oh, on a minute and 25 second song, oh, ladies and gentlemen. God. Thank <laughs> I broke my record, man. Thank I broke my record. Thank you, Eminem. Thank you, Biggie. Elvis, I appreciate you guys. Lil Wayne, Nas, what's going on, baby? Thank you to my wife for playing the part of Federico. She's more active than Federico, so I shouldn't even pay that nigga this week. So I'm going to give you my vote on this song. I think you guys already know where I'm at. Lyrically, I'll give it like a B plus. Lyric. I'll give it a B. A B minus. A B minus is still passing, right? Yes. <laughs> I've never had good grades. B minus. I give it a B minus. It was good if I didn't know the backstories. If I was new to this, if, if I just came into this whole hip hop thing, and or if I'm doing a reaction of somebody that two people that I don't know, because I'm not saying everybody in the world knows who Benzino Eminem is. Right, right. So, yes, it would be like, oh shit, that man just said some shit. But me knowing the facts, eh. I like the way it was put together. It sounded good. I like the the phrases that you were using and, and metaphors and all that putting the shit together. It was fire. But it's just a bunch of, say, of the same shit that's been said about Eminem over and over and over and over and over again. So it's saturated. It's already diluted. I, I don't want to hear it no more. I, you know who's going to win a battle against Eminem? Y'all niggas are making it way too easy for him. Way too easy for him. It's going to be a nigga that finds out something that not even Haley knows about Eminem. That nigga's going to win the battle. Somebody in the comment section said that Eminem uh, it was in the list of of that guy. 
Epstein's list. People, somebody said, so yeah. put in the comments in my Eminem video, hey, Eminem is on that list. If Eminem was on that list, the internet would have been shut down already of how many people were posting that shit. Yeah. So stop putting false information out there about shit just, just to get this guy or whoever's coming at Eminem more leverage. That, that's, that's just corny. He started this. You guys keep on putting in the blame on Eminem because Eminem came out with a song and said something. But he started this months already. He, his name has, Eminem's name has been coming out of his mouth for months. So he started it. If he leaves Eminem alone, Eminem leaves him alone. You know why Eminem doesn't mention cannabis anymore? Because cannabis doesn't mention Eminem in a negative way. What cannabis says on his interviews are facts. Absolute facts. Because you know how I know it's facts? It doesn't make, the stories that cannabis says about Eminem doesn't make cannabis look like a, the, the good one in the situation. It doesn't, it doesn't help him sell his diss to Eminem. He thought Eminem wrote Lose Yourself and he thought he was talking about him. Cannabis. So why would you want to make yourself look like in a vulnerable position like that in rap? So stop. Come with me with facts and then we'll shut the fuck up. If you come at me with something that I never knew before about Eminem and you could factually show me, I'm good. I'll stay quiet. You got it. But half these people, every time Eminem mentions their name, they want to come back as the victim. Oh my God, look what he said about me. No, you've been talking about him for fucking months, so now take this fucking L. That's it. You've been talking about him enough. You think that he was not going to say something to you? Come on, bro. You can't think that way. Eminem is a lethal fucking person when it comes to these fucking bars. Like I said in the in the other reaction, that was light. That was that was nothing compared to what Eminem could do. But it still wasn't bad. It was still better than what he just gave me right now. But as an outside person looking in, dope. Absolutely dope. Putting shit together. Everything was cool, man. Alright, I love you guys, man. I'm out of here. I got more reactions to do. I'm gonna talk to you guys later. 52 minutes. And we're out. Peace. Perfect.